Hello, visuals, and welcome back to another Visual Guy podcast. Again, solo. This is our podcast just going down, downhill. I, I think I have to admit that. Um, it's either just me and Chris, or just me, because Chris doesn't show up. His, uh, his loyalties need to be put in check, visuals. <laughs> no, he's, he's busy, and because we pre-record the podcasts on a Saturday to get everything all ready, as well as the other videos, and he can't make it down this Saturday, I'm having to do two in a row, that's why they're going to be a lot shorter. And I had... Uh, I had two two topics planned that I thought were quite fun. We did a Royal Rumble review on that's already gone up on Sunday, but now you listen to this. This is a mix-up of TV shows and what crazy characters you would fit into another TV show and how weird the outcome would come. Again, I wanted Chris' opinion on this. I thought it'd be quite funny, but you're just gonna have mine visuals. It's gonna be a short one. And we'll start off with the thumbnail of putting Rick Grimes into Riverdale. Now Riverdale's a show that I've talked about a lot lately because I absolutely love it. It's amazing. It's, it's just so cool. But seeing Rick Grimes and his gun wandering, da- wandering down Riverdale with Sweetwater Lake and all that shit and Archie's there and Veronica and he's like, hey, where's the walkers? And they're like, excuse me, we're just here for our, um, our extremely beautiful faces and muscular bodies and our teenage romantic problems. He's like, I don't care. And I'll just start popping, popping bullets off. It'd <laughs> be quite funny just to see Rick wandering around that town. The sheriff trying to stop him. He's like, no, I'm a sheriff. And he's like, no, sheriff killer. <laughs> it would all just be extremely fucked up. And then you reverse it and stick Archie in the world of walkers and the walking dead. Like, <laughs> like seeing Daryl interact with Archie. Archie's there with his perfect hair and his guitar trying to sing a song. And Daryl's sort of just like, man, shut up. That was a horrible impression of Daryl. But it would be extremely funny. Um, just to see, you can see him come up against the walker. I think he'd do fair well against the walker. We've seen Archie turn aggressive and fight when he has to fight especially when he's fighting bikers and that's that you could take archie and sons of anarchy and he'd be like I'm, I'm here to take the bikers down are you part of the south side serpents or maybe there's gonna be a gang war between the south side serpents and the sons of anarchy that would be hilarious because one biker gang out of them is just full of high school teenager kids <laughs> and jack well no, sorry not jack if you haven't watched it yet spoiler alert but obviously jack's is dead uh, but they would just kick the crap out of them <laughs> um there's so many TV shows you could you could just randomly chuck in. Chuck the Flash, for for example, inside of an episode of Geordie Shore. <laughs> the Flash running around Newcastle. Just they're all getting wasted and he's just trying to save, save the day from from evil meta humans or Chuck the Arrow. You know, I was gonna say Chuck the Arrow a go from there, but that's not really that unusual or unexpected. Chuck the Arrow into Vikings. How badass would Bjorn Ironside's army be with the arrow in it, the greatest archer of all time, or well, maybe depends, Legolas or Hawkeye maybe or something else. Um, that would be absolutely awesome. In fact, I would love to see somebody like Oliver Queen, Stephen Amell, in character on like an awesome podcast, like on the Joe Rogan podcast or whatever, just, you have found my city, I need to do this. In full gimmick, um, either as, as Oliver Queen or the Green Arrow, just talking away. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the arrow on Vikings, I mean, he uses the bow and arrow, so he's within, within their time, but he's got like explosive arrows and net arrows and stun arrows and all that kind of shit. So a bit, a bit crazy. Uh, another one which would be pretty awesome, Rick, from of course Rick and Morty, chucking him in to like a proper serious show, like a proper down-to-earth, proper serious um, show, like, I don't know, X-Files, um, as Chris watches. <laughs> Rick just... Proving that there are aliens out there, there's crazy interdimensional stuff. The the, the, uh, the agent Scully and Mulder would just lose their minds. The minds would get blown. Oh, Chuck and Rick into the world of Pokemon, into the TV series, the anime of Pokemon. Uh, he's wandering around saying this is all dumb. He'll probably find a way to catch them all. He'll probably find a way to be any Pokemon if he really wanted to. Man, he's he's it's Rick. Rick Sanchez, he, he can do and make anything. A you know, legendary Pokemon pops was like, nah, that's stupid, dub, catch it, whatever. <laughs> It'll probably accidentally end up killing it. It's just quite fun. Fun talking to stuff like this. Just weird mixing characters that shouldn't be somewhere into another show that they shouldn't be. Um, so I apologise, it's going to be a nice and short one. little fantasy bucket of TV shows. I'd like to have had a lot more of a discussion on it. But that's not going to happen because they get fucking abandoned. Beale is supposed to come down because at the time of recording this, the Joe Weller KSI fight is, is about to be happening at uh, five hours time or something like that. So he's going to come and watch that. I could have waited for him to come down, but I can't guarantee that he will come down. That's the only thing visuals. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that was just a little bit of weird TV fantasy book in a short five minute podcast. Hopefully you visuals did enjoy. Um, there's some weird scenarios that can go on right there. I think if you chuck Rick into any TV show, it'd be messed up or any superhero 
or, or Archie and his, his muscles and his guitar. But visual, thank you for listening. Keep being you and keep on keeping on.